I'm pretty sure we'll have something else to talk about next week. No, nah, I'm done right. talking about it. I'm, I'm not speaking it. on Kendrick Lamar and Drake <coughs> publicly. No more after this. Fuck that shit. Yeah, I'm a little tired. Teen accused of four Ohio murders at 14 years old sentenced. What they give him? A teenager accused of committing four murders when he was 14 years old has been sentenced. McKeem Thomas, 17, was sentenced to over 30 years in prison on Monday, according to our news partner, w- WCPO in Cincinnati. Mm. They also alleged that he took part in three other contact killings that happened between January and February that year. Mm. Mm. Contract Three killing. years I- later? When you say he was 14, now he's 17. He was a little hit They man. waited till he was Accused? 17 and charged will spend over 30 years in prison yeah, for committing that? four oh, murders God. when he was just 14 <laughs> years old. Prosecutors said in February of 2021, McKeem Thomas shot and killed Terrence mm. North as an audition for getting paid to kill people. Prosecutors say Thomas took audition. part in three other contract killings later that month. Now, the ringleader of the murder for hire plots is serving two life sentences without the possibility of parole. I knew we were- all right. Damn, so they gave the nigga that hired him two life sentences. Mm-hmm. No no parole. Mm-mm. He's fucking done. Mm-hmm. That's a uh what's Lil Boosie's home uh little nigga that he had uh allegedly Yeah out there hurting people. Yeah, he in there for the rest of his life, ain't he? I believe so. Yeah. Cause he the one yep. that had told on Boosie mm-hmm. and then he recanted his story. And that's how Boosie was able to get out of prison. Yeah. Got to get murdered in jail for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he got more than one problem. Done. <laughs> yeah. I was locked up. I was. Oh, oh, oh! Hold on, I yeah, can't hear you. At? I don't know, where are you at? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Here we. Uh, okay, it's a shortage uh, of my shit. It's the court. It's the court. How does that move. court keep making its way back? I don't understand why. I'm trying to tell you how to throw it away. Yet. So, uh, you the court? court. What's wrong with All right. it? All right, you with the court, man? So, um, <laughs> I was right. locked up with a nigga from. I was locked up before. We'll talk about it later. Uh, with a nigga from Cincinnati <laughs> that had a case like that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That murder for hire shit. And uh, it was, you know, nigga went down and somebody else went down, you know, but that shit, what they, with him, they held him. He been charged. They just held that. They nigga. held him till mm. he was 17. To where they, yeah, charge to him where with the crime is a dollar. Cookies. To where, to where, so by the time, by the time the paper, like by the time he gets sent up and all that shit, mm-hmm. They bound him over, charging him as an adult, sent him to the adult prison. So now he already in the, you know what I'm saying? Once mm-hmm. he turned 18, they can send him wherever the fuck he going to go. He didn't already, but already he's cooked, But he's here. cooked, though. Mm-hmm. He beat. Mm-hmm. He got charged already. And if he yeah. copped out, if he copped out, he ain't got a fighting chance. Mm. He ain't got a fighting chance. Any nigga getting the body, I just recommend you. You might as well go to trial. You might as well go to trial if they motherfucking telling you that because if you cop if you cop out, you can't go for an appeal. You can't right? you can't appeal it. You stuck with this sentence. But if I go to trial and I lose, I have a fi- I still can appeal the decision mm-hmm. of this court. It might take forever and a day, but I have a chance to appeal it. If I cop out, I don't have a chance to do nothing. It's over with. Yeah, twenty mm-hmm. better than thirty. <laughs> Shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's still. Yeah. I mean, yeah. So we're in no condition to do a twenty piece right now. Yeah, I can Shit. do hours. <laughs> Yeah, Shit, I did a week in the county, baby. Let me tell you something. What, and what happened? <laughs> That's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> I was in there, kumbaya. I'm giving bitches motherfucking pep talks. It's gonna be all right. Quit crying. I think I'm getting bonded out. Or shit. No. Went for my court date. They scratched the date. I'm in there for a week. Hey, I'm calling JJ to pull her docket. I need to well, see what's going on. Don't you know? Don't do that. I'm a changed person. I'm a changed person. <laughs> but is this? I mean, like, what is his mo? Like, is this gang related? What is he out going? Man for hire. He, he got. He got paid. I'm say he. Yeah. Damn. See, he was like another little yummy. And that's the whole thing. It's easy to manipulate. Uh, Robert. S- what is his name? Mm-hmm. Yeah, Robert said it for some money. When that's all, Damn. get flashed in their face. Yeah, especially when and, he gotta get shit going for himself. Yeah. And the older you know nigga probably yeah. told him like, "Shit, you're only 14. If you get caught, <laughs> you only gonna do such and such amount because you're a minor. You mm-hmm. feel me? You young. Damn. Mm-hmm. Nah. Trying to groom him. You know what I'm saying? I interviewed somebody. 
he he had mur- he, he from the city too. He had murdered three people, and they he said they gave him some shit called juvie life. He was like mm-hmm. thirteen or fourteen. Get out of the juvie life was twenty one. Yep. yep. And I'm like, what the fuck? That was that's that's called. I was I went I've been there. Uh, it's called ODYS, mm-hmm. Ohio Department of Youth Services. And he said that shit worse than. It's like it's mm-hmm. a juvenile penitent. It's a juvenile prison. They have uh, a couple of them been shut down, but the main one a lot of people have uh, go to. You would hear them say is the Ky- is Cuyahoga Hills. It's up in Cleveland. And listen, he said that shit worse than gladiator school. If you don't know how to fight, nigga, you coming out of that motherfucker knowing how to throw a punch, yeah. mm-hmm. or you going or you just gonna be the, cause like up there they don't have no hole or what we see in prison movies or whatever like segregation type shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, um, that's crazy. Uh, that was about to say they they have, they have put you in a box. They got this thing called the box. So it's only it's one box in every unit. Mm-hmm. So if me if we get into it, they gonna put me in the box on this unit, and they gonna put you in the box over there. We only in there for a couple hours. Oh, if it ain't settled when that when we come out, we either hitting again, we either hitting again, or it's over with. It's either it's over with or we hitting again, and we going to the box again. And up there, a lot of them at that time, it was some city shit. A lot of, like, up north niggas didn't fuck with us from down here. Mm-hmm. So Dayton and Cincinnati niggas will be fighting Cleveland and Akron and Canton niggas. And then it'll be Dayton and Columbus niggas against Toledo, Cleveland niggas. Like, er- like everybody. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Mm, mm, mm. The shit was crazy yeah. for sure. So talking about it, kids, it, though. Yeah, we, and we kids. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest. I don't know if y'all seen the actual photo of him. Let me see. You know, not you know, you're not supposed to judge a book by its cover. But ain't no guns in there. Ain't no guns in that motherfucker. Mm-hmm. That Respectful. Kid can fight. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Can't fight. That's a picture can't of him. Like, <laughs> I, whether if he can or he can't. Yeah. But I, I don't know. You got to be a special motherfucker to kill somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like just the your 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 mentality shit. I I I think he can to go to go do it for some think, money at that. Yeah, like I think he can defend himself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, He'll be all right. He gonna be all right for sure. At this point, he been locked up three yeah, years. Yeah, he yeah. better know something. Yeah, <laughs> little bit. <laughs> he better know something. About right. this point, or the nigga mental. He's a sociopath. He don't have no. He don't have no sympathy. No empathy. It could be mental too. Same thing. Yeah, hey, that, yeah there you go. Emotionless. A sociopath. Face too. Mm-hmm. So, heavyweight boxer, Artie Nadimbo, 27, passes away three weeks after devastating knockout that puts him in an induced coma. Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you, and I'm a heavy and and I and I'm a hitter. I've been fighting my whole life. All my life, all I my, had to all fight. my life. Hey. But I don't want to fight no nigga that hit hard like that. <laughs> hey. I'm inspired to hit hard like that. So that's the goal. If I hit a nigga, I'm trying to punch through you. Hey. But hey, that is a hard. Put him in a coma. Soul out of especially, him. especially if Put he was hitting him in the back of the head. And that's why now, that's the, now it does depend on how the punch was given. If you hit him, because yeah. it, in boxing you you can't hit get yeah. can't get hit the wrong way. Yeah, and it, it has this type of effect, and that's the tragic. That's the tragedy of the of the sport. That's yeah. you know what I'm saying? the risk that's, of it. That's the sad part of the sport. But if it, he didn't, and he put you in a coma like that. I want to see that combination. I want to see how he hit that nigga. Yeah. I want to see the combination. Hey, I want to find it. <clears throat> Listen, Artie Nadimbo, 27-year-old heavyweight boxer, tragically passed away on Thursday following a brutal knockout defeat that left him in a coma. Nadimbo previously held an unblemished 8-0 record prior to stu- suffering the vicious knockout blow from opponent Nestor Santana during a match in the Team Combat League on April 5th, rendering him unconscious for an extended period in the ring. He was rushed to a Miami hospital where doctors placed him in an induced coma for three weeks. He scumbled... Hold on. Oh, I'm sorry. He succumbed to the injuries. I'm not stupid, child. <laughs> Uh, hey bro, it looks like it. That's some bullshit because that like nigga, I'll be pissed, bro, in the afterlife. Like I don't even remember how I died. Mouth died. <laughs> like I don't even remember how I got here, God. <laughs> Tell me what happened. Son, I went into a coma and son, then I died. Son, you was competing. <laughs> Damn. But man, this comatose, nigga. Shit happened uh, like he, that all the time he though. He died off a dab to his mouth. He did. 
Well, they said he in a coma. They ain't say he dead. Yeah. Oh, no, he's done. He's he been in a coma. That's all I'm saying. He was in a coma. In a let, coma. Me run it. let me run, the, let me run the, the caption back. Heavyweight boxer Artie Nadimbo, 27, passes away three oh, weeks man. after devastating knockout puts but him you get, in the uh, You get knocked out, you go in a coma, and then you die. Mm. Probably brain dead, and they went ahead and pulled the plug. Mm -hmm. That shit tough. Yeah, man. rest in peace. That's why, man, I'm, I'm a big fan of boxing. Damn, I can see on this pod. And that's why I, I give the utmost and it respect might have been to them. Hit his head when he fell back, but that jab did it. I do. I give the utmost respect to uh to boxers going there. People are like, oh well, they getting millions. They deserve them millions. Mm. Right. Not only are they entertaining us, <coughs> but they literally going in there putting their life. You feel me? I can't remember the. Uh, it's another uh, boxer. I think he's uh he's a uh I think he was a Mexican. I ain't sure, but I forgot his name. But uh he went against a black boxer. And if you watch it back, old boy kept hitting him in the back of the head. The ref warned him a couple of times, but now nah, uh, the, the ref should have really, you feel me? Cut it out. White, yeah. White and, you know, uh, after the fight, he was cool. Went backstage. He started feeling like he was, uh, like, having headaches or some type of, you know, X-Men. He was in a, um, in a uh, coma now. Like, man, he a vegetable. But it's No niggas, disrespect. It's niggas that be on that shit. What's, what's the one uh, boxer he was, the clip was going around to this day? Um, Wilder Dante Wilder <coughs> Yeah That nigga was on Breakfast Club Talking like Like I wanna have a body Like On, on some boxing shit He like man, I want somebody to He you know He ain't say it mm -hmm. On on the Breakfast Club Like that But he was like Man I want a body Like I wanna be in there Defeated and all that I'm like man This nigga's sick mm. Like he's in there I, I Trying get, to kill you Yeah now, right, Every right. opponent <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep that in mind. Like this he's nigga trying really to kill me. wants to kill me. He like, can't legit. kill shit right now. Wilder weak. Yeah, I ain't gonna <laughs> lie. That nigga, that nigga Tyson and took his soul. Yeah. Man. He ain't been right since he lost to that nigga. Yeah, yeah. He he had a he got he won. I seen him fight once. After that, he won. He won that fight. But, but it ain't the same. It, he he's definitely not the Wilder dad before he fought uh, Tyson. Yeah, I'm glad you I think said he's Tyson. Supposed to fight next month, ain't he? Jake Powell, they didn't sanction this to be a professional fight. Dude. You might want to get the fuck out of this. <laughs> you better <laughs> run for it. Run for it. Run. Some wild rules that I don't Motherfuckers is that it. it's unsan I mean, it's a sanctioned match now. Like it's gonna yeah, go, it's, it's gonna, gonna go on a regular record. boxing rules. Yeah. It's, it's gonna, gonna count. go, it's gonna go on, on a record. record. Yeah. So if you win, it's gonna count as a win. If you he lose, he can knock going, him out You beat Mike now. Tyson if you beat Mike Tyson. Like it ain't like a Exhibition. This ain't no it's exhibition. not. This ain't Roy. Yeah. I mean, I really, Floyd Mayweather and uh, and, uh Logan. 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 This ain't nah, that. But I really wish this turns out in our favor. I don't got time for no goddamn it. Tyson knocked out by a fucking YouTuber, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Or I'm gonna put loss. I'm yeah. gonna pull the bullshit, man. For Tyson, damn near sixty. Mm. I'm a, <laughs> I'm, you, I ain't I'm making lie. excuses. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, man. I'm letting you know that. I'm going out like that. <laughs> I'm making an excuse. Hell no. I just don't see it, bro. Hell Tyson no. too aggressive for him. I'm black, y'all. You ain't, you I'm ain't. Black, this, 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 this the whole thing, though. Like, prime example, right? That's like a. Uh, uh, Already told him what it's like in like wrestling. A, form. Like a like, but like Mayweather and McGregor, right? You putting a motherfucker in this ring, bro, who mastered this, per the master this shit. McGregor is a uh, he can master that octagon. Mm -hmm. Mayweather, my, them four corners. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So you putting this day, even though Logan, he may, I live this. And, just I've like been, it, and I've been doing this hey, long, before you was even born. Logan, and just like if it was vice versa, because if you would have put him in the octagon, Conor McGregor would shine. Yeah. You ain't ready for this roundhouse and this flying what? elbow yeah. and all this so, other so, shit. And you, and, 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 <laughs> and you got to think, Tyson is <laughs> not your average boxer. He's not coming in with no jabs or nothing. He's coming in with the mentality, I'm coming <laughs> to kill you. So, that see, man, that that Wilder mentality. He's not coming to play. He's coming to bite and shake, nigga. I watched Jake he, he held Paul's back fight. on Roy Jones. He held back on Roy. Yeah, because he had yeah. to. Yeah. I watched Jake Paul's fights, right? And I seen so many times where little Nate Robinson, boom, rocked him. Mm. Or whoever else he was fighting, boom, rocked him. And I'm like, oh, that was <coughs> Mike Tyson. He was a dead fucking man. Yeah. I don't give a fuck how old Mike Tyson is. If he if Tyson connect like like they was connecting on Jake Paul, it's over. He said, "Don't let bro. them." He said, "You see these right there, the gray hair follicles. You see that? Don't let them. That, mean, that I, means seniority. <laughs> like, like for real. I don't see him withstanding one of those punches from Tyson, bro. And, he and did hit one, one of them, bro. Dude, going night. It's for sure. He down. And that's some skill over talent, shit, bro. It's like how Mayweather mm -hmm. going the ring. 
Well, he did an interview. That nigga like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get him by like the seventh round. I'm and like, the nigga got him at the seventh round. So it was just like that nigga already had it in his head. <laughs> Toy with him, bounce yeah, around, get them, get them punches in, and seventh round, all right, he wins it. Like it's it's a, it's a skill thing. Now Tyson, he better be hitting them cold baths or whatever to you know get that sixty year old body right. Get some icy hot on you. Yeah, because now little Ben Gay. Yo, yo <laughs> don't do Mike. Yo, but your warm ups is with a nigga that can barely even take your. Have y'all shit been with seeing the him train? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm still scared. Yeah, him bro, train. I'm still scared of Mike Tyson. I'm about to say, day. bro, I'm sixty is old, but sixty ain't. He ain't old, sixty. Bro. Like. That's what I'm saying. 50. This nigga ain't 60. He ain't even 55. This nigga like 53, 54 oh, yeah, years old. Yeah, I, I was exaggerating. He got plenty bro. left in the tank, bro. Nah, like, dude, like man, he 50, he early early 50s, bro. Plenty left yeah. in the tank. He ain't he ain't even really dead. got it. When did George Foreman come back? Was George, it? George Foreman. He came back when he was like, <laughs> let me, I gotta look that up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look nah, that up for me, Chuck. When he came back to boxing, George Foreman. Yeah, because he was preaching for a minute. George was like 40 something years old when he came back. But his training videos, he's still fast as fuck. Yeah, come on. That's what I'm saying. So again, when you, yeah, that's like muscle memory. And though. he's aggressive. So yeah. when you ain't been in the ring with nothing like that, you ain't gonna know how to you ain't gonna, you gonna, Thank you, gonna be Chuck. trying he's to 40. be pretty and get Yeah, come on, man. As soon as Tyson see an open, it's a slow for him. Yeah. Slow for him. Hit him with a body, a body and head is going. Yeah, it's yeah, over with. Out. His big brother gonna want to fight Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I like, seen some talk. shit like that. They supposed to uh, Logan gonna want to come fight Mike. Don't quote me because I don't know these YouTube videos. They was putting up all this shit. And it was just like if need they they didn't enter, then they were saying they could do some tag team shit. Man, let them. I would love to see <clears throat> like tag team against Tyson on box. Oh, oh my god, god. Lord. how are you gonna have a tag hey, team boxing match? Hey, because uh, you know they're what? trying to make it like Cuz got the upper hand, like the leverage of making the rules. Shake your court for me. You um, you know it's funny Tyson. when you said his big brother was going to come. He gonna he gonna show up for a boxing match and put the United States championship. <laughs> <on him. laughs> That's how bad he gonna be on it. He gonna put the like title you. up. Man. I'm definitely be in tune of that motherfucker. Yeah. So check that. So you a wrestling fan for real, bro? Low key. Low key. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. No, I was down with the Chris Ben Wise and NW. Hey, shout out to Chris Ben Wise. You know, I hope we D- get D- D- D-Lo Brown. You know. My guy, nah, yeah, yeah, I fuck with wrestling though, man. That was my shit. The pay per views, good times, man. You remember? Uh, Did you Stone say shout Cold? out to Chris Benoit? You remember yeah, Stone Cold uh, had Mike Tyson, not Shawn Michaels out? Yeah, yeah. Y'all remember this? Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. Damn the young Mike Tyson with the fro. Tyson with the fro. I think that was my first pay per view. That was the first pay per view my grandma bought with the one gold too. Shout out to my grandma for that. <laughs> Grimy. All right, so look, y'all know we. I told y'all today we was trying something different. We didn't come in with a song, but we about to play what we call the sleeper of the day. And today, since Peso was the guest, this is his sleeper, and it's Julio Mook. Add it up. Brought to you by Black Beard. The only plan is get the lead and run the clock out. I shoot and if I miss, I'ma get the rebound off the box out. A nigga been down before, but I learned how to come back and win. I had to develop my chin. That's how I'm taking these hits and getting back up in all of the fights that I'm in. I need me a 600 bins with the title in the crib. Only way I can do that is if a nigga locking in. So I've been sleeping at the yo. I've been getting up at four. I've been taking 12 hour trips across the state lines. Then I'm right back to the lab, dropping on the wax. Dropping part of me on the track. Checking on my kids on the app. Make a nigga wanna move the chains. Got a nigga focus on the stack. I done put the family on my back. Hello. I could never throw the towel in, nigga. I'ma use it for the sweat. Hello. Never quitting, that's a bet. Not two zeros on the clock. I'm trying to look at my account. And all them zeros be a lot. I'm trying to walk up in the spot. Tell that nigga what I want. Don't be trying to show me nothing. I already know what I'm on. Only trying to level up. Everything else secondary, nigga. Only worry about up. Only worry about the time that I'm putting in. It's gonna add up. The time that I'm putting in. It's gonna add up. Only trying to level up. Everything else secondary, nigga. Only worry about up. Only worry about the time that I'm putting in. It's gonna add up. That I'm putting in, it's gonna add up. Uh. I've been focused on a certain thing. Hello. When you're trying to take a game to another level, trust me, you gonna need a certain thing. Julio Moog. Okay, Julio okay, okay, Moog, okay, man. Okay, okay, okay. I'm fucking with that. All right, so check this out. <laughs> Is he wrong or justified? Man ends five year relationship with his girl because she tattooed R.I.P. 
with her baby father's name after finding out that he passed. Thoughts? Let me see. I think he got some audio. Oh, yeah. Play that video. Question, am I wrong? I just ended a five-year relationship with this woman because she found out that her baby daddy got killed about two weeks ago. And she always told me how they was close. They had good co-parents, and I ain't going to lie. You know, everything been straight. Never thought anything of it. But she just texted me today talking about she went to the tattoo place and got his name tatted and shit talking about R.I.P. him. Bitch, what? Bitch, that shit over with. She got this nigga name tatted. She like, oh, but he's dead. That's my child's father. We had a good bond and I'm forever sad. Um, And all this shit. I'm like, bitch, I don't give a fuck. You single. Obviously, your loyalty lied with that nigga. So, you know, I don't give a fuck if it's been five years. You got this nigga named Tatted. K he your baby daddy. Get her obituary. <laughs> yeah, that's what normal people do. The fuck? All right, man. I'm petty. I ain't that petty. Shit, I'm out of there. Man, yeah, I, well, I'm minute. Petty LaBelle, baby. Well, that means, all right. I'm that Petty Cougar. Petty LaBelle. He, he, might not, he might not just be cool <laughs> with the baby daddy or something, but goddamn, five years. That's, I don't know, man. I ain't no Dr. Phil ass nigga. Word. Nigga, I'm letting you go to the funeral with the kids. Yeah, that's go to the funeral, to go. go to the repast, the talk skin. to the mama. See, that's that where, was a that's conversation. as far as it go. That's a conversation we had before. Like, if you wanted to go to your ex, if your significant yep. other wanted <clears> to go <throat> to the, the ex's funeral, how do you feel about that? But this is a whole nother level, man. Yeah, like, man. Well, are you putting this shit on your skin? Like, I'm so petty. You put that thing on. Put you put that bitch on you. Then tap my name yeah, on your yeah, face. Yeah, I can't be. I can't be <laughs> down, like, yeah. You gonna love, love you? Then the, the left eye. See that nigga tat it. Yeah. The side eye. Like. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's over. Yeah. It's bitch, I'm about what? to say y'all already <laughs> verbatim. Bitch, what? Yeah. Y'all already wasn't right. together. You know what I'm saying? Right. You <laughs> feel me? <laughs> so quotation <laughs> like you wait. That's funny. Because why do it now? You feel me? Like, y'all remember what he said last week about people messing with their baby mamas and baby daddies? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For real though, like, that's disrespectful. Yeah, well, <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't even got my name on you. Yeah, I was just thinking, that, like, what? Yeah, you got to, me messed up. It's over. And it depends on where you got it at. Like, said, bitch, yeah. go visit his grave. <laughs> Get that old bitch word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now nah, that's how bad. you. Hey. This is the first time in pie history he I haven't heard him say not one fucking word. Which I feel like he got a story that. that's on his heart. It ain't was, that he. You know how when you mad about? you know when you be a visitor, <laughs> you ain't been to church in a long time, and you and you the visitor, and for some reason the pastor happens to find you all the way in the back of the. <laughs> <laughs> you step, come here. Yeah, like, oh, so, I know you got a testimony on your mind. <laughs> I know you got a testimony. Really, you just a, a face that ain't seen in that motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> right. I'm trying to baptize you yeah. today. You stupid. But what's up, man? What you? How you feel? No, I, I mean, I no. I agree though. I I wouldn't. If, for one, that's not something that I would do, and that's not something that I would accept from nobody else. Again, like, yeah, and especially if my name ain't already on you type shit. Mm -hmm. So do that make a difference I, if it, your name is already on her? Uh, uh, damn near no. no. You on it the list? It, it just give you something list. else to blast yeah. yourself, blast your ass on. That part, but no, nah, it really don't. I'm still probably gone. I'm going to have to take a sex move or two out of my repertoire. Yeah. Man. I'm because a, if like you got I'm it on your back. Ooh, I yeah, love, I love giving back, back shots. Respectfully. I, you got this. Wait a minute, Nino. I love Man, you. you thinking the time nah, out. So, it, stamp, Nino. That's all I'm saying. Where's she getting the tatted? It don't matter. It, if I turn you around and I lift your leg up and I'm like, this nigga. It shouldn't even <laughs> be in none of those areas, Nino. That means she really love that nigga. <laughs> that, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Real, real. real. Because if hey. I'm going bareback splash and I'm It can be on her wrist. Crazy. Turn her back like this, like. Plot twist. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. What if you ask her to get your name tatted over it, or you leaving? Would that be an option? That's, Fuck. A, that's a wonderful option. The only <laughs> option. Listen, listen. <laughs> the only, I mean, I'm the only way. Not because bro, reason. And you know, we all was like, "Fuck it, it's over." Yeah, bro like, came with a reasonable. 
Yeah, you can get, up. cover that shit up. Yeah. Listen bitch. though, the only <laughs> way, and you getting a bitch on it. The, <laughs> listen, the only way that tattoo would even be feasible is if like, all right, you put it somewhere like where his name is right here. Then you put my name right here, and then you put the little graph chart up under it, and it's like, uh, like it's levels to this shit. Oh, uh, so. uh, he petty. But to me, so you trying to he put, petty? Trying he's trying to but the nigga did though. Trying to, trying to oh, take oh, a I got a better one. But he did though. Oh, I got though. a better one. Here come the brain. That motherfucker gonna say moment of silence to the government. Oh my <laughs> god, you going to hell? Oh, that, <laughs> hey, drink to that, man. Oh, man. Going to one hell. time, that's toxic as fuck. <laughs> that's, gonna, <laughs> that's gonna make her leave. <laughs> that, that's when the plan backfired. Like, Damn, bitch, I was, yeah, oh, I was supposed to leave you. Oh man, did it backfire or did it work? That was funny. I cannot. Thanks, I, man. But, yeah. <laughs> Even if she I got promise a, you this shit, y'all still gonna have to see it for at least about. So y'all saying if uh, y'all make her breathe tattoo, y'all name over it. Y'all gonna still have to see it because it take time. Yeah, I'm gonna wrap it for you. I'm gonna put the Vaseline on. I'm not you gotta go through the scab phase. Yeah, you know, all slap that. it. Yeah, and yeah. then I might leave her after that. Or <laughs> we could just get that motherfucker took off completely. That's too much. Man. And what you, her skin raw, she can't do nah, that. Nah, you ain't got that. Hey. doing that stupid shit to begin with. Yeah, so at the end of the day, it's going to be her. She said you heard it. Nah, I ain't saying straight that motherfucker off. I was about to get it. You know, they got, they got, they got, the you know, they got tattoo removal oh, where okay. they do laser. And they say that shit. Convince her to get it covered and then leave her after that. This fool said so witch hazel that shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before we get to, let me see, let me see where we. Oh, at. y'all are crazy. Fire topics today, y'all. Uh, did y'all see Jim Jones in the airport? Uh, hey, <laughs> buddy, clowning, ain't he? My guy, what's going on? They tried to jump Jim Jones in the airport, and he got the flinging motherfuckers around and shit, punching on people and shit. Let me yeah. see. I wish I could have helped him. Hold on, I gotta find who it. Tried yeah, to video. Who would try to jump? It, it was Jimmy. too clear. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do it like sorry, you. No. Too clear. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> clear. <laughs> tried to. They ain't know who Jimmy was. I don't think so. so Hell nah. I don't think so. <laughs> they going down Rich the escalator. Black, right? Ain't that what it's called, Nino? Talking about Sue Wu Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it started on the plane though. Uh, oh, look, uh, talking about diplomat boy. Jimmy. Talking about the old Jim Jimmy. Jones slander. No dip set slander. I know. Oh, fuck with the sets. Oh, okay. And I named my son after Jim Jones. For real? Yeah, oh, I got him. Yeah, okay. Capo. I got him tatted on me. Yep. That's tight. Cocaine so weed and death is, is too Is that your favorite rapper? Yeah. For real? Diplomat. I ain't gonna lie. Jim Jones, mm. I would have never thought years ago that I would say today, Jim Jones is the best rapper in Dipset. Nigga, on my way to church, all so? the mixtapes. Now? I still think Jim Cam Jones. Drunk. Nah. Jim Jones Jimmy is the best, best rapper in Dipset right now. I ain't gonna lie. No. Cam, I love Cam, Cam, though. Cam was the front liner. He had the witty witty lines. Keep, keep computers peeping. Hey, that nigga Jim Jones really be spitting now, uh, bruh. Like, oh, oh, the shit out so Cam, you, Cam freestyle like mic crazy. Cord. Like, now, right you now? Saying, oh, we gotta do away with that. Damn. Chuck, can you go Damn, grab another mic cord, please, sir? But, go ahead. You saying now as if, like, dude ain't... Like, he been spitting. He been spitting, but he wasn't always the best rapper out of Dipset. If any, we just stopped I, that. I, now I, I don't... I think it, you're using the wrong word. If anything, he may be the most consistent rapper out of Dipset. <laughs> I can't say he's the best rapper out of Dipset. Go play Cameron's last album. Yeah. And go play Jim Jones' last album. I'm going to do that. And then next week, I'm going to ask you again, who do you Wait, feel like album? is the best Just because rapper he had a better set? album doesn't mean make him the better no, And rapper. then go to the next last album. What you mean? And look, compare look. those. But look, though, <laughs> because it, bro, it, was, it was shifting because We're at, talking first, about the whole album. at first, it was for me, it was Cam, then Joel's, then Jim, then Joel's went up there. Joel was that nigga. And then I started listening to Jim, and I'm like, shh. And this nigga got some bars, cuz before balling. Like, but Jim wasn't the frontliner, though. I always fuck with Cam, though. That was, that's my yeah, favorite. Cam always. Yeah, yeah, I love me some Cam. Yeah. Purple Haze was my favorite. Yeah, you feel me? That was my favorite record uh, uh, album. Damn, I'm trying to show my age, time my record. What was, and, your, what was your favorite and, record? Uh, Purple Haze from um, Cam. That's my Haze. shit. That and good. come on now, yeah. Cam done showed us love and dating, too. Come on. He's steady repping us on his podcast. Me? I'm right. not going to be biased about some rap shit because he, he rep us in his music. in Cincinnati. <laughs> that nigga Cam, like, my rap dad, like he from Ohio. He loves my dad Ohio. used to know Cameron. Hey, Scrooge, you at work, Testing, man. testing, testing. 
My dad Appreciate used to know Cameron. He got his computers putin over there. Computers, yeah. computers be putin. <laughs> Getting them pounds. But hold on, let me see, because they said Jim Jones had something <laughs> to say about the situation. Uh, Arco posted this. Let me see. Want to hear? Here it go. <laughs> I'm all right. Give me a second. I got to I gotta get dressed for this party, man. I'll be, I'll be right with y'all. Promise you. You can tell he still love this shit. <laughs> Promise you. I'm all right. Because he know he ain't going right. fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he beat their ass. I just watched I'm it. Okay. I could just see when he, he just went, beat their yeah. ass for real. He might say, yeah, right. He, <laughs> he didn't want to say too much, but oh, they need God. to make a new Def Jam game, bro. Def Jam Vendetta? Hell yeah, Man. they need to make a new one. Yeah. They, ain't, they ain't trying to put that bread mm -hmm. up. They ain't want to yeah. pay Who all the Who would y'all want to see that? in the new Def Jam Vendetta? Fucking everybody that's everybody. rapping right now. One person? They got to bring back DMX. Man, you, oh, Who yeah. going to be the boss? Literally, X is going to be on the cover. On, like, they got to bring like, DMX. It got to be Jay Z. Who going to be the boss? Snoop Dogg's always been the boss. Shit, no, baby. I mean, not till he got we, through out baby, the baby, window. Got, he's yeah, dead. He come on, you know what? It got to be Jay Z. It got to be a new boss. It oh, got to be Jay Z. A new generation boss. Jay Z, nigga. I'm not going to say it again. No, he's the boss of. Or yeah, Jay I guess Prince. he's the final boss, I guess. You talking about you talking about in the game when the big ass nigga with the suit? You can make Jay Prince the boss. Just the the boss, the, the boss, final person the final you got to fight, 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 fight. Like you yeah. be Snoop Dogg. At the end of the storyline, it brings you to your creative player versus this nigga. Mm -hmm. And it would be just Jay-Z. Hands be. down. Or Wayne, or Wayne. So why wasn't it Jay-Z on the first one then? Because Jay-Z wasn't, wasn't the president. He wasn't even on the game. Yeah, they, ain't what he is that's right why you now. say that because he was the president. I'm just and you now, know, that may, no, that makes it that more valid. That makes it more valid. What he got going on I don't know, today, Buster Rhymes, he 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 a good candidate for that too. He though. was like, always just a good character on that shit. But he was always like, which I'll bust your ass. ass. <laughs> yeah, he was like always one of the hardest niggas. But he so was he always on the good side. I ain't gonna lie, you know yeah. who might though, Jada Kiss. As the boss, not the boss. Not the boss. He, that nigga, I could even see him as an underboss. Boss of a of a borough. Yeah, yeah so, for sure. A bur so, damn, so of a borough. We talking man. about the last person you fight on the game for you person. see the ending credits. Not Jada. It got to be Jay-Z, bro. I can't see Buster, though. I mean, No, nah, I can't see stocky. that either. Buster going to help you get to there. Buster <laughs> on your side. <laughs> Well, if it's top tier, oh, so you talking about like be, the villains. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Like, you okay. ain't, like, yeah, top shit, Drake. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> Hell nah. Oh, I got Maybe one. Maybe 50 cents to society. What about 50 cents? What about Jay oh, Prince? Ooh. 50 good. What about Jay Prince? No, he's nah, cool. just said I Jay Prince. No. He'll be a good one. He didn't. Yeah. I see him like the puppet master. Care about mob ties. That's like for sure yeah like the boss that off. don't never yeah like he like how i knew you go fight this i need the migos <laughs> to be on the game be able to fight i need to see chris brown on that motherfucker i'm done uh, yeah, nah. I need they to are not about to put chris all <laughs> type i don't need no to see cat. everybody on the that game gonna get canceled why wouldn't they see the why game on there though? I what, if, you know what, a what if they make uh, Diddy a boss from over because of Rihanna? Diddy ain't that's that's, why. <laughs> that, that's <laughs> why he didn't beat up Rihanna. They ain't gonna let Chris Brown. Hey, they laying him on there. Damn. I think if they really get, did that, that would cause more real beef. You think so? Hell yeah! I think niggas would be in they, be, imagine I think ratings Drake, and shit like that. I think Drake and fucking Kendrick will really be fighting each other online on that motherfucking. <laughs> they already doing that shit on w, uh, <laughs> on, uh, w, uh the wrestling. Yeah, uh, are they? They didn't created the. Uh, you didn't see the one when like it was cold. Huh? Speaking of, the, off the, real, real quick, Shawn Michaels just made a post or something. Uh, he invited Kendrick and motherfucking Drake to come to. Uh, it's a topic. <laughs> The, it's the, the top. You, you walking all over a Segway right now, screw. I'm sorry. We, I mean, we talking about the show. <laughs> I'll wait. I'll wait. I thought he was going to let him his mind. Shit, I thought he... <laughs> said, you thought he got... I thought, I like, thought he brought the first hand yeah. inside. Yeah. Yeah. On the female side, if they did bring back that game, they got to have the city girls on there. Hell yeah. They got to have Nicki Minaj. Sukiyana. Cardi. Okay, so who will be a female boss then? Nikki. Nikki. Yeah, Cardi and Hands Nikki down. already. Nikki. Roman. Nikki. And, and her name on the gang gonna be Nikki. Roman. And yeah, Remy. <laughs> nah, Remy. Be Nikki. Yeah, Remy. Nah, <laughs> Remy already been in the game. She's just, she already been in jail. She ain't too. never been <laughs> she's she never, never been, been at Nikki's yeah. level. Uh, Facts. Mm -mm. Don't disrespect her though. She still won that no, battle. No, she's one of the hardest. Roman. But I'm she saying. She won that like, battle though. But we, are we only talking rappers? Yeah, yeah, that's the that's where they We said Chris Brown. Beyonce then. Yeah. She on that whooping she might ass. Be the boss, if Nikki, no. hey, if Nikki can if make Jay -Z it, Jay Z gonna be the boss. She might have to be the female. No, I don't want to play it. If that, they put her on that there. shit back in. The, that's comp. She said I want to play it. <laughs> you can't yeah, have both of them. Have both. The new shit they say now is op. 
Yeah, nah. It's overpowered. You gotta, gotta have Rihanna on there. She's hey, a boss bitch for sure. What's Beyonce's sister name? Solange. Solange, Solange oh, gotta be on ass. your side. She <laughs> Solange feet. gotta be on your side. She Terrence Cropper. She whooping feet <laughs> on that elevator. <laughs> she, she hold Jay-Z off and, white. Hey, <laughs> if she was a player, she was a made person, I'm picking her because we already know she could whoop Jay-Z. The yeah. ball hit. <laughs> <Yeah>. The ball <laughs> hit. That's what I'm saying. That should have caused real eternal beef. Hey, Nigga, I'm choosing her lit. off red. Hey, like, Jay, you let Solange whoop your ass. That shit fucking lit. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all Please, funny. Y'all he funny. said, they B, get your sister. Did you see that, that Family Guy episode when they're in the elevator. Yeah. Oh shit, man, that shit was hilarious. Jake, Jacob is cool though. I don't fuck with him. Oh yeah, you got. Oh, to. can I throw in a curveball question? Let's of course. Let's go. My let's dog. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. My son taught me. He be teaching me dances. <laughs> Keep me young. All right, y'all. So look, if a woman falls asleep after sex. Without washing, she is A, nasty, B, normal, C, a woman who just got done getting some good ass beep. C. <laughs> Yeah, put her to sleep. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, she is, that, that's a C. Now, that's a, that's if, she a C? Don't, if she don't... Knock them out, Rick. If she don't... <laughs> knock, knock them out, Rick. You know what I'm talking about? If she yeah. don't motherfucking... Uh, <laughs> if, if she don't take care of that shit, though, after she done got up, though, then, you know what I'm saying, if she go about her day after the, after she done woke up, up from this, from this, from, hey, from this sex yeah. coma. She wake up and put some pennies on. She then now, now, now we at the A and the B's and shit. You know what, what I'm saying? Snoop, what Snoop Dogg said about Gail King, you a nappy head, funky yeah. dog head bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool with mama going straight to sleep after she done took this goddamn beating, but... uh. It's either about, it's, it, to me, what matters is what you do after this. Okay. That's uncomfortable. Most definitely. Okay. Who's Because I'm going straight. To, I next? might go straight to sleep, and I ain't watched this dick neither. I just came up <laughs> out this motherfucker. <laughs> I'm laying straight on the sheesh. You hear me? Mm-mm. Okay. I agree. <laughs> you agree? <laughs> yeah, I mean. You second that? <laughs> yeah, shit. It's C for me. Like, I mean, that's the whole plan anyway. Yeah, respectfully. If you wake up and, you know, it's Closed egg whites and out the door. That's a problem. Wow. He said closed egg whites and out the door. That's when the wow. hands hit the hip. Like this bitch. Uh, <laughs> he said, I'm in the shower. I'm in the shower she looking said, at the bitch like she, oh, I'm shit. in the shower. She brushing her teeth, then her fully dressed. I'm like, damn, bitch. Now, her, her rag still, you ain't still gonna, dry. Yeah, oh, I'm here. That's what I'm saying. Her she's her, she still dry. Hell no. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a she the rag brushing force. her teeth like yeah, everything yeah. sweet. Yeah. I'm in the shower doing like, like, like damn bitch shit, you ain't yeah. going Look at Black Jesus. You, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Shit, I'm with the rag for her. You ain't getting up out of here like that. <laughs> nah, yeah, you can. You just you can't come her. back. You, you just can't. <laughs> you can get up out of here like that. You just can't come back. Y'all gotta say, fuck an ex uh, tattoo, bitch. That pussy is what? Yeah, it was. Shit, it was. <laughs> Beat the block. <laughs> shit sound like Sour Pal Skittles and shit. <laughs> hey, bro. Yeah. Need, need no answer. You ain't answered. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I ain't answered what? The question. I thought I did answer. Oh, the he question. did. <laughs> oh shoot. It's yeah, he said, he said C. He yeah, said C. It's, it's C. I hear him elaborate. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. I elaborated. Yeah. It's C, baby. Okay. All right, y'all. That's why I said it's no. after the fact. Because you know, I matters. mean, where I got this from, I was reading the comments, and it was some bougie girls up in there talking about, oh, she nasty if she don't get straight up. Girl, obviously you ain't you never had no orgasm because when you, you get from a question. When a woman has an orgasm, like what the shoot? Yeah, I'm talking about your soul come out your body, an uh, orgasm. See, let me give y'all a little. little okay, thing. yeah, drop it down. Hold it's hold a hold difference hold. between. I don't know if I'm, huh? Huh? What? This mm-hmm. a personal experience? You about to? No, no, no. I'm, right, I'm just giving some little. I'm just, you know, I'm saying. Sure now. I ain't trying to, no, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I'm just saying. A lot food. of people don't know the difference between when a woman says she's. Like nut in her coming mm-hmm. versus an orgasm. Mm-hmm. A Ooh. nut in a cum, that's her, 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 you know, getting juiced up and Stimulated. Which needed that. Yes. And it, mm-hmm. it's, it gets, you know, moist and everything, which you mm-hmm. need that for the friction. You know what or, I'm saying? Or, or mm-hmm. orgasm is when she start crying. That orgasm is what y'all experience when y'all, like, you know, do y'all thing. It When it comes to a mon- woman, oh my gosh, when it happens to us, it's like, 
sucks out your damn soul. Uh, so, oh, all right, so when the, when, when the <laughs> lady, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> right. You said that as if you knew what it felt like when your soul snatch. I get masked every time me and Russell. No, I see. I'm I sorry. told you don't make this personal. Hold up. So I'm sorry. What, what, I said I could have sworn I seen the light coming. What is, <laughs> what's, the, what's the leg shake? Huh? What's the leg shake? It could be that, legs. but legs I mean, shake, eyes I, rolling up in her head. She what, making a face that she, she usually don't make. I That's that. What is it when she start That's crying? Note it. Note it. What is it when she start crying? When she, she crying, crying for. I mean, like when it's over. No, it's over. What's going on? It's over already. If you, if she ain't crying. What's like, she crying for? What is she crying in the middle of that shit? She crying in the middle? Like, yeah. She like, emotional. Can't help Get yourself her. and start crying. You mean like actual tears? Yeah. Nigga, crying. Man, I'm There's crying. a difference of whining <laughs> and crying. No, I ain't Man, say listen. whining. I mean to the true definition. See, I think you understand what's going on, my brother. <laughs> yeah, on cries? everything. <laughs> on everything, like in the middle of that shit. Of all, and that's <laughs> what I like. Shit, what is this, a romantic, what is a romantic <laughs> novel? He said, is this the Titanic? Man, this is the Titanic. hands over her face and start crying. I ain't going to lie to you. See, you ain't never, you're see, talking literal a, tears. A, a. Back down, know what I'm talking about, dude. Don't, I, I'm talking, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Don't make this personal. Hey, stop it. Yeah, nigga. Stop it. I see what we're going to do this episode. Hey, but that's some different That's some different type shit You that when you do. Hey, I have some, type the shit. notebook. They ain't, they, 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 ain't <laughs> they ain't ready yet. They ain't ready yet. Yeah, all right. Nah, okay, nah. next topic. <laughs> Y'all need the most. All right, listen. All right, let's get up out of here. Yeah, for sure. It's about to get <laughs> real crazy. All right, so. Cop runs over 17-year-old. Police refuse to release dash cam of killing and officer's identity. The family of 17-year-old Kadarius Smith. Hey, somebody else read next week, too. I don't know who. We gonna <laughs> rock, paper, scissors or something. Man, you read real good. You Thanks, ain't have man. To get, you ain't have to get hooked on finding. Yeah, man. you know what I'm saying? Family, you gotta be plus in English. <laughs> the, the family of 17-year-old Kadarius Smith remains outraged by the lack of information regarding his death. The team passed away last month after repeatedly being run over by police. Mm. Patrick Smith, Kadarius' father, says he only knows a small piece of information about March 21st death of his son. According to witnesses, Kadarius was walking home with friends in a small Mississippi town of Leland when a police officer and a cruiser allegedly began chasing the teenager, fatally running him over from behind. <laughs> I won't get to see my child walk across the stage next year, Patrick said. I won't ever have a grandchild because he was the last Smith. They took that from me. The Smith family has been calling for transparency from Leland police for weeks since Kadarius' death. They've been asking the police department to release the dash cam footage from the incident. Kadarius' his mother... Ka <sighs> That's why and, you want to see Charlotte, Charlotte McGain. <laughs> God damn, y'all got some names <laughs> over here. Uh, Kachia Calvert says, yeah. She K A. Just so you don't think I'm bullshit. K A Y C H I A. Kachia Calvert said, that's damn near sound like a sneeze. Says she saw tire marks across her son's back. I don't, oh gosh. Man, I want to say, uh, God bless that that child's soul. Uh, yeah, the condolences to the family, man. Uh, mm -hmm. On the side of that, man, I ain't never taking my black ass to Mississippi. You can forget about it. That's one of the most I ain't going. Like, racist states still, you know what I'm saying, that they Our actually still I ain't going. got, like, deep. Mm -hmm. Sundown towns, everything. And yeah. a lot of people don't even know, like, Sundown towns still exist. Yeah, they yeah. still yeah. exist. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. there are certain towns that y'all... You know what a Sundown town is, Peso? No, I don't. I was about to ask. Ooh. So, you want me to... I, they so, have, a Sundown town is a town to where where it starts to sunset. If you're a black, you need to get up out of here or you're not going to make it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God. And they, during they, the daytime, during mm -hmm. the, they riding past and they saying yeah. some of the craziest shit you done ever heard in your life. I've been in the Sundown town. Bro, get the fuck out of here, nigga. I Wait, but this is like just on some like they own personal grounds type shit. No, this is like this legal. is in cities. This is this is it's like some legal shit. Legal. These are yeah. so if black people out, it's okay to kill your ass. They're gonna they're Listen, going they to. Just, so this, this is the, the whole town is allowed, in on bro, being you know, racist. Okay, yeah, there we go. The they, town, the police, the sheriffs, everybody is in on being racist. Ain't nobody so, black so in our town you now, boy. For no type, reason, you feel of me? course, it's illegal. They're not supposed to kill you for no reason. But who's going to say? Well, that yeah. they killed you for no reason. Because one of them mm -hmm. says just stop, like, 
un- they unlegalized lynching like damn near maybe 30, 40 years ago. One of them states down there. So it's just like, nigga, I don't be knowing what's going on. I was mm-hmm. in this, I was That's in the sun after parties. And it'd be the funnest down south. That's the craziest part. When you go down to certain places, Miami, places like that, is you feel me? Yeah, it's love down. Them white people, nice. No, no tourist <laughs> spots, though. We some white people about me about and my girl Alabama, shit. Mississippi, though. Bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're talking about them dirt roads. You, you feel, feel me? me? Yeah, them on everything. Yeah. You talking about towns that you don't even know exist. You talking about places that I'm hip is, to it, is, bro. Is world is world now is renowned. They, those like. I can't even, even because I know they exist. I can't even tell you. I can't even name one off the top of my head. That's a sundown. You know what I'm saying? I've been but they, in, but, but they in Tennessee. They in Tennessee. <laughs> they, in they up here. They, <laughs> they they are all around. Like for real. They, they used to have a map. They used to have a map back in like uh, that went back all the way back in like probably the 50s, 60s for black people, where it was uh, a map that showed you all the places when that was sun downtowns and when you need to get up through to yeah. travel. What was that called? And, uh, I forgot what the, it was the called. Book, you the Green Book or something? It was, yeah. They made a movie like, like that. that. Yeah. <laughs> I, um, it was an area. It was a certain area in Pittsburgh. I swear, y'all. Pittsburgh. That was a sun. Yes. That's why I be, man, Pittsburgh. Fuck the Pittsburgh Steelers because I would never rep that team after hey, what no. I went hey, through. Hey, we ain't about to and do that. that section. Nah, I'm sorry. That no, area I was in. Damn. Man, when I say we was coming back from a girl's trip from West Virginia, and that was the one time where, listen, Brandy don't be scared of nobody, but when I'm outnumbered, Come on, y'all. Get y'all ass. Let's pump this what? gas. Get the fuck yeah, up. They're yeah. surrounding us. Let's get the fuck up out. Yeah, it was a certain area in Pittsburgh when we was coming back from West Virginia. That was a sundown. Mm-hmm. Heck no. And it was daytime. I got a question. Let's go. One question. Yeah. Why the fuck was you on a vacation to West Virginia? Man, I don't. I should never listen to Patty yeah, ever in my damn life. We went to Morgantown. Oh my God! What? The, oh yeah, Morgantown turned. <laughs> Everybody like, kept asking Morgan us, "Are y'all turned. lost?" I said, "Should we be?" Facts. Mm. I was, I'm telling you, but we went to a mm-hmm. rave party and I was dancing with them, but they had jugs of water and everything. I would not try it. And the next minute she said, are you guys the police? I said, yeah, it's time for us to go. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know why I listen to Patty. I never listened That's to her for another crazy. girl's trip ever again. <laughs> See, I'm a, I'm a, girl's I'm a dangerous black, I'm a dangerous crazy. black girl. I don't even stop this <laughs> gas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you some, vi- some videos of what I went through when we was there yeah, in I mountains need, and shit. Yeah, I need to see. Scared. It. Like, I'm a dangerous black. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a oh dangerous. shit! <laughs> no, 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 I thought listen. he was about to say I'm a. I, 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 I got it. Nah, 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 nah. This motherfucker gotta... said I'm a dangerous black man. <laughs> Stay dangerous. <laughs> and, Stay dangerous, my G. And the reason, and the reason why I say that, right? right? Because it's certain things that I think about that intrigues me. That it makes me want to define certain things. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Nah. No. Okay, so let me, okay. <laughs> but look though, right? Okay, so let me make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I'm about to make it make sense. So then let me hit that like, crumble. <laughs> hold on. Let me hit that crumble. Hold on, hold on. Break it down, K Dot. Yeah, Break drone? it down for us, uh, K Dot. Uh, you said where that drone at? Mm-hmm. I understand I understand your what your position was because you have to be smart in those type of predicaments when you have other lives. In your hands. Pass that Patron by your right. lap, by your Come side. Come on, brother. <laughs> hold on, hold on, yeah, Kiara Wine shit, bro. You tripping, my yeah. nigga. I'm sorry. Fuck wrong oh, with you know what? Speaking of which, shout out to our our sponsor, Kiara Wine. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Kiara Wine. Uh-huh. Um, but I'm the, so you had to you some you you can't win every fight. Mm-hmm. You got to pick and choose your battles, right? I be thinking like, I, you ever had a conversation where you be like back then? I'd have did this X, Y, and Z mm-hmm. because of the mindset that you have of today, mm-hmm. of who, you know what I'm saying, because of who you are and what you know you wouldn't have tolerated. So back then, if you was alive back then with the mindset that you got, of course, you know, what you, you know what I'm saying? Master would have been in trouble. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So fast forward that. And I got the group of, I got a group of white people who feel some type of way. I mean, I want to embrace this. Come here. Let me highlight you. Shit. Let me holler at you, cause I'm gonna give you what the fuck you looking for. Why you think you, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the monster that you want to portray me to be anyway. So let me give you what you want. Are he getting mad? Yeah, but but, 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 but um, so 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 again. So, I like the passion. So uh, so I say that I say that. Uh, that's why I, so like I, I like the sometimes to entertain that. Like if it was ever an opportunity to where I could be in the environment to embrace that, I'm a, I know what I'm on. So what? But my question but, is. 
what fulfills you from doing that? What do you get from it? That part. And I'm gonna go ahead. Dangerous black. <clears throat> One already you want to inflict pain on me. Right. So let me help you do that. Nigga. I'm gonna right. invite I'm gonna involve I'm gonna invite myself into your circle. Hmm. So because, show me show I, I So because they are presenting themselves to try to get under your skin and do all of this, you like, all right. This is the repercussions that come from what. No, you're it's just that it's just because you want you feel like you can whoop me anyway. So I want to be the one to prove to you. I want to prove you wrong. Repercussions. But they not gonna let. They but not I, gonna let them again, again. Let them cook. It's it's, oh, yeah. it's, 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 it's it's again. It's what you. It's what I think. It's what I would like mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. I ain't say it's the right thing to do. I ain't say that I will go. I will sit up after this podcast. I will go and do that. Mm. But it's a thought that one that I entertain. But because I know it's something bigger than me or whatever, I, it, it's not a move that I would take. And I understand the I understand the mindset of ignorant people. But you going out there by yourself, brother? I ain't sit, let, listen. Yeah, because yeah, I ain't going. Listen, listen <laughs> they ain't stop making guns when they make, when they got them. Yeah. This is why because at the end at the end of the day, okay. Pro, pro, the reason I I think like this <laughs> is this right. Mm -hmm. I but if I'm on something. You have to um, be able to. No kids involved, right? Right. That's that's your mindset. But if a purpose say fuck your kids, is it fuck their kids? It's gonna have to be, I guess. Oh my man. You know, I mean, what other? Choice I ain't got nothing you? else to say. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to think like other people in mm -hmm. order to checkmate them. That's true. I feel what you're saying, though. I feel now I get it. So I can't. I can't That's not really. I mean, but I, can't, to, I mean, to I can't return stay, energy I to him now. Oh no! But to return energy to sender, <clears throat> that's not trumping them. See, I'm petty as fuck. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in getting even. I believe in getting over. Mm -hmm. sure. You did me like this, so I'm gonna do you like this, nigga. Mm -hmm. Like I'm gonna really you fuck did it you. First, I'm did gonna it really fuck you over. I so you, get you, me saying mm -hmm. fuck your kids because you said my fuck my kids. What is that? That ain't shit. Mm -hmm. yeah. so you said fuck my kids. Now I'm gonna go fuck your mom. Do you feel I like me? That. Like, yeah. or nowadays grandma like would that. do that too. Who app? Yeah. yeah, I say that. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I like that. Granny let's take another get generation too. up. <laughs> Reciprocating energy. <laughs> and just leave y'all right here. I like like I said with the baby daddy tattoo, nigga. I gotta be here. You so you sleep me? better so at again, night, like. Yeah, I did. That. So again, that's me speaking on that's that's me speaking what? on the dangerous side. That's why I said I'm a dangerous black man. Listen, because I entertain I entertain the danger of certain situations. I feel that. You All right, but listen, to you gotta be able to you gotta be able to know this. It's both. It's two sides yeah. of shit. All right, so listen, the unserious is unseriousness. Unserious this. I'm gonna say one thing, and we are gonna go to another topic because we damn near at the finish line, but. It's somebody that used to be a part of our podcast. And from time to time, we say some little shit over here on some Jay-Z shit to where won't nobody really understand what we talking about. But this nigga, right? Yeah. So <laughs> the other day he made a post and said, Oh, y'all don't think, oh, y'all don't think I'm paying attention. We all knew it was Subliminal, about us. Yeah. He jumped up there and said, No, we understand you a hundred a hundred percent perceptive, uh, attentive, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't com listen though. I didn't comment up under his. I just made my own post. I said, "Oh no, nah, we know you watching. That's why we do this shit, like so That's you can see it." And then what are you doing? Nothing. You lost. But still watching. I'm lost. You, you was a Sagittarius at heart, bro. Yes, I'm lost. I'm about to show you. Petty as to the, fuck to bro. the core. Hey, Octo <laughs> the, October's is what? What's what's what, what size? Scorpio is and Libras. Scorpios and Libras. October motherfuckers and Sagittarius, they are one of the most pettiest signs to walk amongst us, man. I don't get even. I get over. Um, all right, so listen, to get out of that, and let's go to this last topic, y'all. Um, well. <laughs> well, what? Nothing. I just showed her what, you, what we was just talking about. I okay. Just gotta, I just ah, okay, hit. okay. You see what's going on. Yeah. Pop your shirt. Let me, let me see. You know, 500 subs later, you know, we still. Bam. We still, all right, anyways. Yeah. Uh, 
two, two high school seniors solved a mathematical puzzle that was thought to be impossible for 2,000 years. Yes. You know they listen to K-Dot. Let's go, black people. <laughs> they smart. Are you math geniuses? Not at all. K-Dot. How did these high school students prove an ancient mathematical equation that was thought to be impossible for 2,000 years? We start with just a regular right triangle where the angle in the corner is 90 degrees. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then we start creating similar but smaller right triangles, and then it continues for infinity. Am I going a little too? Yeah, you've been beyond me since the beginning. Oh. <laughs> but, so are you math geniuses? Not at all. Well, it sounds like the Pythagorean theorem worms. I'm tripping. That was a meme right there. That should said tripping. nobody. Is, is this, is this a sarcastic thing going on right now? Because I swear to God, that sounds like the Pythagorean theorem. That was a real thing. Man, look. <sighs> the only answer is it goes infinity. Man, I need somebody to fact check that. <sighs> Here you go. I need Listen, some smart ass kid in the middle of Wisconsin to, that you know what the fuck they talking about. Six seconds. <laughs> Wisconsin is crazy. Now, if that shit is true. <laughs> Power, but man, I don't know, man. Two thousand years. We need TJ. Hey, mm-hmm. we need TJ. I Somebody on YouTube man. gonna be like, he need so Shout out to them. Well, I, I, yeah, I, I mean, got like you know, TJ I wasn't is good at man. I just know how to add, <laughs> subtract. <laughs> I do not divide and multiply. Somebody bring it. Sound like the Pythagorean theorem, bro. Now bring in the flux just capacitor. Need a, just need to. We going back. Just need to know how to count money. That's all you do. That's all you need to know about mathematics. But shout out to them. Solid though. It sounds like the Pythagorean theorem, bro. <laughs> the put the Pythagorean theory. You ain't letting that go. <laughs> Why y'all don't believe it? No, I do believe well, I, it. Yeah, I believe it, but you know, just I need some more con because her explanation was like we just made smaller and smaller triangles and then we go. It sounds right sound like they did it by what? accident. Yeah, like, yeah. You know what I mean? like, this was like, why don't we just make triangles inside of this triangle? That's mm-hmm. just a little clip. <laughs> yeah, are, you, like, are you geniuses? She said, theory. not at all. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm talking about right, the Pythagorean theorem. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? As long as you, hey, as long as tucking the back with the chuck, you know no. what I'm talking about. Times he said down this down word, man. but it's crazy. My <laughs> uncle used to say it all the time. He said, "I might not know how to do something, but I can show you how to do something." You know what I'm saying? Like I never really knew what that meant, but we know how to improvise and figure out how to do shit. And you know for what I'm real, saying? and for real, all the real, time, it, take, it only takes the simple shit to define the wise, man. So you know what I'm saying? What other people may complicate it, somebody will. Like damn, that's like in the Ruby, uh, uh, the Ruby yeah. yeah, come mm-hmm. on, They're like certain people, you get that. I mean, that's like mathematical, like for real. And they, you yeah. like, what the fuck? Yeah. This nigga did this shit in two, in, a, in one like minute, that, and it be bro. taking me like 20, 30 minutes. To <laughs> they just right. reworded that shit. I, they just, 20, they, I'm days, not cap, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, so everybody's brain. I ain't just, cap, bro. I know what I'm talking but about. But look at the theorem re- theory. They then are just reworded that shit. Yeah, bro. you that smart. Smart. You, you smart. You smart, my boy. He, <laughs> hey. You smart. Cause y'all, cause, cause y'all, I, I was peeping everybody. Y'all thought I was just saying. Man, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. It looked like I'm just looking at bullshit. But yeah, I believe facts. It. <laughs> so facts. listen, but it just sound like that's what they doing. You smart. Uh-huh. 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 So listen, before we get out of here, I want to give a big <clears throat> shout out to my boy OG Beezy, aka DJ Ant B, with the Fly Underground on Fly ninety three point five Radio. And let you know that the app is coming soon to the Apple and That's Google stuff. Play stores. Plug. That's fire, man. That's, That's fire. G. So listen, before we get out of here, I got to know, Miss Brandy, what you got going on this week? Hmm. Uh, it's Mother's Day. I need some, hmm. some flowers, some gifts. Cash app, Brandella06, <laughs> and cash app for Mother's Day. Thank you in advance. Hmm. And yeah, y'all can send me a little something, too. It's Mother's Day. Word. Let's go. Right. Other than that, oh, and my son about to graduate. A hey, class of 2024. That's huge. Thank you. Thank, you. That's Thank you, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. And that's about it. Yeah. What about you, What's going on? Man, I ain't got shit going on, man. You know, making it happen. <laughs> making One it happen. One day at a time. Simply. Hey, making it happen. You know, me <laughs> on the <a> day three. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you know, shout out day free. <laughs> That's fucked up. I, man, I, they not like us. Listen, they not print, like us. Prince, y'all live, Mike Jack. Yeah. Oh, Vho. No, you don't understand, Peso. He's a meanie. He tried to hit me. <laughs> he tried to hit me and my mom with his car. Did I still not let you hear that? Don't I'm let you hear yeah, it when yeah, we go yeah, up. Yeah, I got to. Oh, a meanie, <laughs> meanie. Yeah, but I ain't, go, I ain't got shit going on. 
just waiting to uh go to work get some of these increments. Oh yeah, congrats, congrats. Appreciate you, man. I'm back, baby. That money. I'm back, baby. <laughs> Christmas about to be <laughs> awesome and great. Nah, it's gonna be hype. <laughs> niggas can start Damn. buying. Be hype. Niggas can start buying this Frank's wings again and shit. Yes, and it's, making hey, tacos. Hey, taco salad. Back to making, back to making Frank's mad than the motherfucker. We used to walk in Frank's. They would look at me, and I swear to God, she'd be like. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. One time we walked in there, she looked me dead in my face and just did this. Mm, mm, mm. It was so busy in there. She just Frank's shook her wild, head at me. That's like, a wild place. Man. She said, Sean, no. <laughs> <laughs> she said, Sean, no. I'll, I'll literally go in there and be like, give me a hundred wings. She was mad. Yeah, a hundred wings. Don't wings that good? I'm about to feed my brother, my brother, my brother, my sister, my brother, and that's I'm about mean. to bring my girl some home. So she and don't be giving me that. I can't believe you had Frank they, without me. Fat. They fat. It ain't me. They just fat. It you know what I mean? Me. That's because she don't ever like to ride they, with it. They wings go go good, that good. Okay. Man, listen. Mm, I, was, I, I, was I was I was I was locked up and at them that every day, even outside of pot, I talk to this dude. And this nigga, hey, bro, where you at? Hey, bro, we on our way to Frank's. Frank's. Put up at Frank's. Hey, what you eat, bro? I had Frank's. I had Frank's. I had Frank's. Oh, my stomach fucked up, bro. I think I had too much. Yeah, hey, I think she. Uh-huh. I'm like, this, I'm like, bro, this nigga got coke. I'm like, what they got cocaine in that shit, bro? This <laughs> nigga know. could not stop Damn, eating Frank's. Bro. This, nigga wings. Eat, this nigga eat Frank's like that. Now they used to be our religious move after pot. But enough about me, Jaeger. Uh, uh, Arco, Black <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what you got, God Frank? What you God got bless him. Up? You know what I mean? I'm, I'm about to fall off the wagon. We keep. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep calling me. What's up with you, bro? <laughs> Man, nothing. Just going to continue to be entertained by this, these NBA playoffs. You know what I mean? It's, it's a lot of new, not a, a lot of new talent out there. You know, new generation <laughs> being ushered into the game. Uh, on the side of that, man, chilling all. Pass on my body. Uh, Watching that club <laughs> Shay Shay uh, and Gary Owens interview, man. I think y'all should check that out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, see that. yeah. Okay. It's a good, I seen a piece. Yeah, it's a good one, man. <coughs> so I'm a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I'm chilling, man. Peso. Uh, what you got coming up, big dog? Uh, <clears throat> our podcast. Hey, <laughs> man. Hey, man. Yeah, so uh, new podcast dropping tomorrow, uh, episode 236, 30, I don't know, don't quote me. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, so promoting on that. Um, got some little little filming to do for uh, Fit and All. So, you know, we you know we trying to get dating back. Turn for like August, September-ish maybe to get these episodes done. So, you know, just a little work weekend, man. Oh yeah! Don't forget the wash. <laughs> I even see you over there. Come on, man. The wash. I see. Oh, come yeah. on, come um, on, man. Quit being modest. Okay, so yeah. man. I'm, hey, man. All right, let me hey. pop my shit. Yeah, man. man. <laughs> Stop. You no, know, it's the shooter. Edward Trigger hands. <laughs> Edward uh, Trigger hands. <laughs> nah, but yeah. He so we. You up with that? Boy, <laughs> he fucked you up <laughs> with that. <laughs> Hey, he fucked you up with that. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I'm low key responsible for that, bro. <laughs> hey, that was fucked. Fuck. That's that hard. was hard. Go. I gotta go back to the drum board. Respect the shooter, board. man. Respect <laughs> the shooter. I, I ain't respect even. I ain't shooter. even post that. Yeah, hey, that's, that's a live hard. drop now. Respect the shooter, man. Edward Trigger has, but look. Ooh, yeah, that's, that's, um, that's nah. So yeah, we did. We started the movie. Go down at the wash. Uh, we had Midget Mac here. Uh, uh, a couple of Detroit players. I can't remember all their name. Uh, a couple of people from out of town. So. We did a four day shoot with that, so we got about like eighty percent of that done. We still got to add that in. So, is, do you feel like this is the 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 fastest project y'all have been able to Definitely. get done out of all? That was extensive, my nigga. Because usually with fit and all, we do, you know, a good a good month is like four or five days of shooting okay. because of everybody's schedule. This shit was what Tuesday to Friday, mm-hmm. starting at like. 11 maybe noon to like midnight 11 o'clock so it just was like shit just around the clock like niggas out niggas was packing lunch <laughs> like, mm-hmm. like we don't got time to even think about what we gonna eat you know what i mean like it's just fuck it or go get some cousin vinny so yeah that was the longest stint that i like in the city i've done so uh, nigga, i was nigga, i was defeated nigga. i'm like i couldn't wait till friday like nigga, cooling so yeah so it go down at the wash not sure when that's c- coming out, but yeah, we got a good, good, good amount of that done though. You remember we had that conversation about content? Remember I called you? We was talking about uh, 
putting some content together. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got an idea for Yo, us. <clears throat> we gotta, I got we a got, fire one for us. We gotta act. Our text message, our thread. We gotta act on a few of them ideas we were speaking on. Yeah, for that. sure. But um, when I, I was watching the interview earlier, right? <laughs> And it took me to run, to run it back to realize what you was asking us. You asked us, you was like, you know, so for each show and each piece of content that y'all put out, it do the same promotion, go behind it. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking that you talking about getting on Facebook and tagging people and highlighting. and uh, But you actually meant like, were we putting like promotion behind it? Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, I, I didn't. <laughs> but you know what? I didn't understand that until probably when we was on the way. The dropping you off. I didn't and then I watched it back today and I'm like, damn, he brought that up then and I didn't understand it. Yeah. I mean, cause y'all just, you know, the platform, I after that conversation, mm-hmm. like I could see if I was to try to do that, like try to like just have different um, you know, like what you what you reference to uh Zeus Network. Mm-hmm. After your conversation, because you know, I ain't around nobody that's doing that. It's just us motherfuckers got solely their own pocket, like YouTube channels. That they ain't trying to convert into a network, mm-hmm. so that's why I was wondering. I'm like, man, I don't know, like, man, with the emotions or just with how people want they, they shit put out, like, far as with the different episodes, with mm-hmm. more views and whatever, whatever. I don't know, so I just like, hey, y'all running an operation under. That's all. Yeah, I appreciate it, but I was like, <laughs> damn, I didn't realize what he was asking me in the moment. But I'm sorry, O Block, what you got going on, <clears throat> Big Dog? Uh, too much or nothing, man. Life just been life, man. I'm about to get back in the studio, man, and get in, 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 uh prepare for the summer and the winter fall and shit. I ain't gonna lie, me screwed and Yago got one. Outside of that, um, he got one. <laughs> got a few, let me be honest. But outside of that, though, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's it, man. And again, life and man, pray for me. I pray for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? And Amen. Hopefully, you know what I'm saying. Till the next time we meet, man, Chuck. Well, Chuck's not mic'd up today. Our sixth man is is micless today, Chuck. but I can tell you, he's working on podcasts. Yeah. He's working on um, video footage. He's working on videos. He's working on uh, shoot uh, the fade. Shoot the fade. He's Everybody his wife. knows sports. You know what I'm saying? He cooking some motherfucking Chucky Buffalo dip. <laughs> he doing all that shit, <laughs> yeah. man. Busier than Donald Hell Trump. Yeah, man. that's <laughs> Chuck, y'all. Man behind the machine. You hear me? Uh-huh. That's what he got going on, the God beast. damn it! The machine behind the machine. So, um, great pod, everybody. Thank you. Uh-huh. Great pod. Um, I guess it's over, right? Man. Everybody has an opinion. Right. Everybody has an asshole. Uh-huh. And everybody got a podcast. Uh-huh. Just, Just not, not this podcast. podcast. And you was tuned in to everybody has one, and we gonna leave out today. With a song from Big Yego. What the fuck? And Nino Green. Oh, okay. It's a bad motherfucker. And it's called Boosie and Wet. Oh, yeah, he's singing the head. And, yeah. and please don't forget, you're now tuned in to the number one podcast coming out of Ohio. Everyone's, everyone's. If I get raided, then I'm going fast So many drugs that my cover look like CBS I need a sponsorship deal from Smith & West You ain't texting about money, then I'm dyslexic I did what I wanted and nobody left it Nigga, life been life, it got me drinking heavy We all shooters and our shooters ready Bro, got us walking around like Boosie and Webby I set this bitch off, I feel like Boosie and Cleo Yeah Face out the best one for
09, pay to get you hurt I like to count my money backwards It's faster, I'm not a rapper, I'm a flapper Get flat down, doubled up off triple stackers And ladders, we coming in through the back door We don't do pack downs at all If I get raided, then I'm going fed So many drugs that my cover look like CBS I need a sponsorship deal from Smith and Wesson You ain't tax about money, then I'm dyslexic I did what I wanted, ain't nobody left it Nigga, life been life, it got me drinking heavy We all shooters and our shooters ready Bro, got us walking around like Boosie and Webb I told Jason okay, and Peso put me on Tubi. I like that. Somebody, anybody, everybody, Bruh. tell him when we going to see him. In, in a, a minute, minute boy. boy. In a minute, boy. Take it easy. Hold on, that wasn't loud enough. This one for Chuck.